It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. So for this video, I'm gonna respond to a news clip which was debating about whether or not the American flag is racist or not. And of course, I'll give my two cents about this whole entire debate. I really hate using that word debate because honestly, I feel as though this whole entire conversation is just poisoning at the well. But anyway, let's respond to the video at hand and I'll give my thoughts and opinions about the topic. You know, the reality is here that uh, we have a large percentage of the American population. I don't know how big it is, but we have tens of millions of Trump voters who uh, continue to believe that their rights as citizens are under threat by simple virtue of having to share the democracy with others. Um, I think uh, as long as they see Americanness as the same as one with whiteness, this is going to continue. Let's dissect what you just said right now. She immediately assumed that because a Trump supporter, of course, has the American flag, that means they associate America with whiteness. First and foremost, you cannot necessarily assume someone's intentions just because they have the American flag. As we all know, the United States has a long history of various people coming together from different nations to form, of course, what is United States today, through his culture, through his arts, and these other kind of fields that we have in our country. And that means, of course, that United States is the home of immigrants. And you cannot necessarily assume that somebody thinks that America is for white people only, unless you actually ask them instead of trying to cycle and analyze them. We have to figure out how to get every American a place at the table in this democracy, but how to separate Americanness, America, from whiteness. Until we can confront that and talk about that, this is really going to continue. I love how every single time she uses the word whiteness, it's obvious that she's talking about white people. Now, first thing first, you cannot remove America from whiteness. Just like with African Americans or the other immigrants groups that actually contribute to the country, white people also contribute to the country. Without white people, we wouldn't have our constitution, we wouldn't have our rights that we know it today, or the Supreme Court, or like a lot of stuff that we actually take for granted in this country. To sit there and say that we need to remove America from whiteness, i.e. white people, is literally impossible because most of society in our country has been influenced by white people just like it has been influenced by other groups of people. And so, I just love how she used this sort of coded language to hide her true intentions. But uh, it gets better, guys, because apparently just the sight of the American flag is big enough to trigger her. I was on Long Island this weekend uh, visiting a really dear friend, and I was really disturbed. I saw you know, dozens and dozens of pickup trucks with, uh, you know, uh, explicatives against Joe Biden uh, on the back of them, yep. uh, Trump yep. flags, and some cases just dozens of American flags, which, you know, uh, is also just disturbing because essentially the message was clear. It was, this is my country. This is not your yep. country. I own this. And so until we're ready to have that conversation, this is going to continue. What when it comes down to somebody, you know, showing support for Donald Trump, that pretty much just happens to any other person that supports any other political candidate. I've seen people with all sort of presidential sticker bands and whatnot and flex and whatever from any other candidate before Donald Trump. So even if somebody were to show a person that they in fact support Donald Trump. Number one is their free speech, and that means they have a right to show their expression 
on how they feel about a particular political figure. And number two, even if I were to take for granted what you said, that having, of course, a Donald Trump flag means like, you know, whiteness, i.e. wanting America to be a white country, whatever, that's still not true. Because underneath Donald Trump, even if you don't like the guy, under his immigration plan, he pretty much stated, of course, that there's going to be limited immigration. And it didn't matter if they were like, you know, from like Latin America or whatever country, he pretty much stated that, of course, he wanted limited immigration. Wanting limited immigration or making the process hard for like, you know, the illegal immigrants to come to this country does not mean that he wanted America to be white. Like, even immigrants also agree with Donald Trump about the immigration policy. Even Mrs. Harris for Joe Biden also agree that there should be a limit to immigration. So wanting limited immigration does not mean making America completely white. As a military veteran, I completely agree with Mara Gray. It is disturbing. Large American flags on trucks are performative nonsense that are absolutely intended to communicate that America is a conservative white country. It's an essential signal. She's right. This is what Mara Gray is talking about. I'll speak for myself here. I voted countless American flags for the loved ones of following service members, and when I see this, all I can think is, yeah, that person is definitely an asshole and most likely a coward. First and foremost, I am not the most patriotic guy per se. However, when somebody flies the American flag, it means that they're proud of the country, they're proud of their roots, their origins, that so much have been done by this country, right? And the same thing happens to other countries too. There are various patriots across nations. This is not just an American thing. It happens anywhere. And so you sometimes have a Mexican showing the Mexican flag or like a Canadian with the Canadian flag or an English person with the English flag or whatever. And so patriotism pretty much means that a person, of course, falls in line with the value that they support as well as their proud of their history it could be a, like a number of different factors race honestly is not necessarily one of those factors and it's just so weird how they're projecting their own personal view about this it's their they're the ones who are actually complaining and telling people that america is a white only country when I've never seen any sort of patriot who used a flag, white or black or white, saying that America is just a white country. I've never seen such thing. They're the ones who are actually projecting. And it gets better because this clip, also from like a similar station like on ABC, tried to defend this person who actually made that claim that America equals whiteness. I'm, I'm so surprised, actually, uh, that she is receiving this kind of backlash. And as Megan mentioned during the last segment, you know, when someone of color, a black woman, is telling you her feelings, people need to listen uh, and not, you know, uh, repudiate it and not say, well, that can't be true. Yes, guys, you heard that right. She literally said you have to listen and believe somebody just because they're a black person. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to take someone seriously just because of their skin color. You see, if their arguments actually have merit, obviously, I'm going to take it seriously. But as, as I stated in this video, she made huge assumptions about a group of people thinking that somebody is racist and think America's white just because they have an American flag and as I argue in the video that whole entire point is so ridiculous so no I'm not just gonna listen and believe this person 
just because she happens to have the same sort of skin color as me. That's actual bigotry or low expectations. You cannot necessarily, you know, believe somebody just because they're a certain race or color, whatever. That is like so terrible, actually. But anyway, what do you guys think about this whole entire controversy? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.